for our third question, we have um, if the mass of a block hanging on a spring is 50 grams and the spring is stretched by 20 centimeters at equilibrium, we want to know what the value mu for critical damping is. So, a picture of the situation we have a spring. We attach a block to it with mass m. Once we attach the block, um, the spring will stretch. So we'll show how the stretch spring looks. I'll just leave this block here. So this is after you let the spring go. So we have mass m, and it stretched a distance. delta y. Um, so um, at equilibrium, the force of the spring, or the net force is zero. So that means the force of the spring um, plus the force of gravity is going to equal zero. Gravity is pulling down, and it equals mg. The force of the spring is pulling up, and it equals kx. So we can indicate these forces here. This is the force of the spring, which is pointing up. And this is the force of gravity pointing down. I'm sorry, uh, instead of x, I'm going to use y because we're talking about the vertical direction. And specifically, this is delta y, the distance the spring has been stretched. So if we solve this for k, find that k equals mg divided by delta y. Um, we know our mass is 0 0.05 kilograms, which is equal to 50 grams. And g is equal to 9.81 meters per second squared. Delta y is 0 0.2 meters. So that gives us a k of 2.45 newtons per meter. Um, so the condition for critical damping was that C equals omega naught. Um, C was defined to be mu divided by 2m, and omega naught was the square root of k over m. So solving this for mu, we get mu equals 2 square root of km. Since we found k, we can plug that in. 2.45 newtons per meter, and the mass was 0 0.05 kilograms. Uh, solving, I mean, uh, plugging that in, we find that mu for critical damping is 0.7 newton seconds per meter.